Hi guys, welcome back to Sim Raid Boy T. Today we'll be looking at the dungeon map in the Arcane Keep. But first, before we start that off, I thought I'd just show you my Great Hall so you can see where I'm at. Now, I'm only a low level to mid, you know, getting closer to the mid level in the game, so my Great Hall is starting to increase in levels, but the most important is to work on accuracy. Now, the reason I have the 10 10 down here on the Void Champions is I mostly have Void Champions in my team, so I worked on them first to, to get them up higher, to give them more accuracy, and, and I'm working on crit damage as well for them. Okay, so we'll go down into the dungeon, into the Arcane Keep. We'll have a look at this here, what it says for the boss guide. As you can see, he's got his Wind Slash, attacks all enemies, inflicts 50% less damage. Last stand, place 60% increased defense buff and 30% increased speed on himself and almighty immune passive as well. Immune to stun, freeze, sleep, provoke, block active skills, block passive skills, fear, true fear, petrification, debuffs also immune to HP exchange effects, HP balancing effects and cooling down increasing effects. So... He, he's also placed a 30% increased speed and a 60% increased defense on himself. He has two minions to help him out. The minions are the, the side little champions he has. The left one places a 50% decrease attack debuff on your team and the right one removes all buffs from your champions. So you really want to take them out first as quickly as possible so they're not affecting your boss. Then to defeat this boss you will need champions that place buffs on allies any buffs will do as long as your team can be buffed so we'll have a look what champions I'm going to use here and we'll go back into the champion section so I'm going to have mother, mother side belly really to start off because she has an additional 24% speed for the team so that gives extra speed the idea of the speed is to make it so you can take more turns and have your turns before the enemy does so you got more chance of killing them before you take damage yourself or dying so I set up as much speed as possible I have 247 speed on her accuracy of 184 now with accuracy it works by if you work on yourself about 10 accuracy per level it gives you a good chance of still getting your skills away so like if you had level 10 you'd want 100 as accuracy level 20 200 accuracy or pretty close to it now Mother so Belly's here for her soul shepherd places a revive on death buff 60% increased defense buff when allies for, for two turns so if you have champions will die she can bring them back that's the idea of bringing her in the team with her additional speed and her uncanny transfer what this is is you have a champion which is low in health you can transfer Mother so Belly's health across to that champion and then puts a block buff on Mother side belly to take any damage so she can re-heal herself to give herself some some energy back health back the masteries we won't go too much into it but as you can see this here I set up in offense and defense here next champion will be Solus now Solus I've set him up as a nuker so you can see here is his masteries you know he has to do a lot of damage and a bit of defense for himself I can go in and show you all these step by step, but you know, you're able to look in your own section as to what each one of these is by just highlighting over them. And you can see what I've chosen. His skills, it's just so much, it's power just to do damage. Now, I haven't blocked, he's booked out as well to give him the additional damage and the buff chances. His artifacts, as you can see, I've got him on crit damage, 156. Over time, as I still keep getting better and better gear, you just swap over put different gear until you're at the stage where you have your sets then you can set them in in what sets you want to run them in accuracy I have him at 200 so he should be pretty good to level 20 with speed we've got quite a bit of speed on him to take turns so he's at 180 191 in speed what other champion we're going to use here well, we're going to use ghostborn because she has skills of Attacks all enemies has a 75 chance of placing a 60% decreased de defense buff on for two turns. This debuff cannot be resisted, so that means automatically whatever happens, he will work on those champions, which then helps with my nukers to give them extra damage because they got the defense buff on there. 
and increasing the attack on your own champions. That's the major skill of her. Artifacts, as you can see, I haven't got it really booked out yet, but I've got a lot of speed, so that'll make it that she'll go after Mother Side Belly and she'll be going before my Nuka. So, having the extra speed, she goes ahead of the Nukas, which gives them then they'll have the defense buffs up and the extra attacks buff on themselves. Accuracy, not so much, I don't need it because, as you remember, that skill it's automatically places 100%. You know, these they don't get buffed. Can't be resisted. Masteries. Well, you can see here we've got her in some offense and defense. Our other nukers on the team will be Coldheart. Here's her masteries in offense and a bit of support for herself. You know, this just gives the extra accuracy through these ones here. The skills is just really about this heart seeker. And the uh, it'll turn the turn meter of the other champions back to decreases back to zero each time to make they don't take their turns. But this is all it's for is damage. Artifacts you can see here, I've got a bit of speed on it, which will make it still. She'll come in after Ghostborn, so she'll have those boosts on her and the defense on the on the enemy as well. Down, I've got her in a hundred and what was that 170 184 crit damage so she'll do a lot of damage and her accuracy is very high so she'll have no problems at all with her skills to get those skills away our other champion will be raw guard another nuker so i have three nukers in the team you know just to do the damage as fast as possible he has only 154 damage so over time you know, increase the damage gives you more damage when he's attacking accuracy at 219 so he'll be fine to do the level 20 and then a speed of 170, 181. But yeah, it's just all about the skills, the takedown, that's his damage. Put the books on, it gives you additional damage. And it increases it according to enemy max HP. His masteries are the same. Put him in a fence, you know. A fence gives you the extra for your attack. And then support to help himself with a bit of accuracy. And I think that was it. One, two, three. Yeah, that was it for the champions. So yeah, that's where we're at. We'll be doing the Arcane Keep. Where are we up to? We're up to Arcane Keep Stage 20. And now we only have the opportunity to get the Greater Arcane Potion and the Superior Arcane Potion with the cost of 16 energy. Once you get to the stage where you can do the harder battles, just work on those harder battles only. You no need to drop back and do lower level fights. You, know, you want to do the highest level you can for the best rewards. Yeah, you know, now I've got my website underway as well. I'm starting to progress on that, adding videos and information to it daily. So you want to check that out as well. It's RayShadowLegends.com.au. Just waiting for these nukes here to do their more damage in their critical skills. Mother Side Belly, them their soul shepherd skill there. If any other champion did take damage and dies, they would automatically revive on the next turn. We've got a stun out here on the left minion. Critical hit there by Mother Savelli. I mean by Coldheart. 
So I'll show it again. Move. And they're taken care of. That was Arcane Keep Stage 20 with a 7,750 silver reward and four of the Superior Arcade Potions. Okay, thank you guys.